Yeah. What's going on guys? Welcome back to a video that you'll probably never see me have to do, but you're gonna see Genesis have Smurf. to do it a lot. You guys remember out in the desert he broke both TVs? Well now he's back. I broke one. Oh he broke one. Now he's broken another one. So if you guys don't know how to change a CV, well, first things first, jack the car up. Pull the well, tire let's off. Do this. Let's I've never this, had to this replace is the one. easy way because I watched a lot of YouTube videos and I don't know who the guys out there that made the videos. Don't follow the directions. Watch this. This is the new and easy way. So guys, the way that I would what do it. What time is it, Hans? What time is it? It is currently 7.20 on the dot. 7.20. So now, <clears throat> what I would do, guys, I've not, I, I don't know the way he did it, but just I'm just taking a quick glance at this of how me, personally, I would pull the CV off is and again i could be wrong i don't know but uh obviously take the wheel off <clears throat> i would just pull these arms out and see if i can twist this or probably just pop that bottom shock out these arms out and just pull this thing out you know you probably just got a little nut right in here and then you could probably just whoop, yank that out that's about it him and alvi i mean last time dude it took them like hours which i don't know why we follow the video we assume that there's something different they're like okay let's just follow those guys directions I don't know why. I mean, I don't know. I've never really followed direction. I mean, if I there, here's my thing, guys. If I'm in a bind, where I'm like, damn, I have no idea. I can't even look at this. Um, I, I look at a video, but Just for to me, your thing, real quick though, it looks pretty easy. We can't take the shock off because then you get your tie rods. What are you talking about? You just put a jack under there to support it, and you're done. What do you mean? It'll drop, but it can't swing outward though. Why? But why can't it swing out? You put, you put a shock here, take the weight off that, that nut right there, pop that out, get the shock out of the way. All your, you had a little heim in there. This thing should be flopping, swinging. I don't see what, I mean, this looks like a very easy job. These aren't going to be swinging though. You pop it off. Pop these well, yeah, out. Yeah, those three, so. I mean, what's the way that you're going to do, or what is the way that. We well, should take these things off. Pop these off. It's just a one-sided bolt. The bolt's already on the other side. Yeah, so there's no difference in popping it off that side. Well, you have three and six and seven and eight bolts. No, no. You, you wouldn't pop be... this off. Why? We'll pop this off right now and make it super easy. I know. I understand that. But why can't you just pop these off and leave these on? You could, but those have washers in them and stuff. Where? I don't so know. The, let's you just get... go over the guy's other, the other video. He made me take the caliper off. I have no idea why. I have why no you... idea why, but I listened. Yeah. We passed, took these off. We took, we put a Jackson underneath the suspension for some reason. I don't know why I thought the suspension would even pop, like drop. It made no sense. Go yeah. watch the other video. We'll see. It's the first video that pops up. Also, That's the most popular video. That's the most popular video? Okay, well, yeah. we're going to make a new so, video for you guys. So, we're going to pop these off right here. And if you have a rear bumper, this might not work for you, but most people don't really have a rear bumper on these cars. So, okay. Get a Look at this. We got this, this garage here, and we've. Nick has chosen to do it outside, which, I mean, very easy. I can, you know, I can put this in my trailer because we're leaving. I got to put this in my trailer anyways, but I don't know. Nick has chosen to work on the car um, outside. So, I guess we'll let him work out there in the cold while I got this thing running great. If you guys don't remember, if you guys don't remember, this is the OG heater. So, before there was all these fancy mini splits that I added with AC and heat, this was my heater and I couldn't leave it on long it, it stunk like propane and you can tell it's it's a little beat up so um, this, this, was, this was this was this was my OG heater right here and he's sitting here popping these things off so he's taking this old tow hook that played off and then he's struggling with these if you just uh, lift the car I don't know why you, you got one jack get another jack and it really helps yeah, you can. You so you're just not, not sitting struggling. Okay, just that one. Oh, okay. That just fell there. You got here, dude. You got to lift you gotta this. You got to lift that in. Yeah, just a little hold bit. on. Here. here, let me grab here. Go ahead. There you go. That's where, guys, the uh, the second jack. I mean, you don't need to, but I'm sure if you guys yeah, got if two. If you're just by yourself, you can just grab it. And... Yeah, if, you, if you're by yourself, you can grab it and pop it off. But if you got a second jack, 
um, makes life a lot easier too. Why are you even taking those off? Just leave those alone. I'm not. I just want to see that they're not going to fall for the video. The purpose of the video. Uh, uh, like, uh, oh, my bolts fell. Or... Oh, okay. For the hey, video, the purpose of the purpose of the video, they're not going to fall. We gotta pop these little caps off. All right. Shablam. I'm sure there's a cotter pin in there. Yeah. There you go. So get you guys some dikes. This is a horrible installation. Video. I'm sitting here like by the heater for you guys, not even showing you close ups. So let me show you. There's little caps right here. Yeah, these caps are just going to pop right Give off. Give your light. Actually, I, hold on, guys. Let me add the light on this thing. Okay, guys. Now I got the light for you. So you're going to see this cover. Literally pop it out. Sometimes, yeah, it's pain about to come off my hand. Use a flathead. And there you go. Pops right out. You're going to get a cotter pin. Me, personally, I don't like to reuse cotter pins. They uh, should give you new ones with the... the yeah, with the CVs. Buy. So pop the cotter pin out. Then you're going to take this bolt off right here. It's a size 30. Size 30. And um, the this side, you just pull on it, and it'll pop right out. Yeah. And just like that, when you got a big behemoth Milwaukee, it just pops right out. Right yeah, now. so pull it to the side, so the and that's going to flop and out. That part just bada boom, bada bing. Bada boom, bada, just like that, guys. And you guys, usually YouTube videos, everything is bada boom, bada bing. Never really works out that good. Well, typically for me, nothing ever works out like this. But you're seeing it firsthand, like... Firsthand, it's pretty easy right here. And I'm not no mechanic. We know Trust that for damn me. sure. <laughs> 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 Shoo. Shoo. So, if you're a mechanic, Shoo. Like so now that he's taken the new one out, it's the perks of not breaking you. You relax, smoke a little cigar, and you're good to go. But so he's cleaned the grease, and don't forget, just take a little rag. You know, clean if there's grease, clean up in there. You know, okay, just just real quick, real real quick before I finish this. Don't mean to bag on Rhino 2.0. Grab that CV right there. I'm gonna show you guys something just real quick. This is an OEM one. Okay, that one that's in there, and the um, the boot. He what? Yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. Is like, to me, this is, this is like a 930, and this is like a a, a 934 CV. The OEM ones just look massive, so I don't know. I mean, look how much grease is in them too. Well, that you can't. It's not really accurate because grease flying. That eh, that you can't tell. We don't know. We can't say that but i'm just saying an oem one just looks so much more bigger and beefier that but that is why we went back to stock guys yeah but back to um yeah not installation so pretty much you you know go just push it in there literally pop it in and well, i greased i don't know if yeah you put a little grease at the end, end of it, of it. So yeah next time you have to change the cv it's easier for it to pop out which is not normal it changes things all the time but okay but yeah so grease the end of it makes it a lot easier also to uh pop in and um, that's it, you know, vice versa. It's that, it's that easy. You can do that side, same thing, and that's about it, guys. Right here. So the OEM one didn't give me another cotter pin. Well, I would, yeah, I'd get some spare cotter pins, guys, but are you sure OEM didn't give you a cotter pin? No. Wow. Hmm. I guess they want you to use the uh, old one. And this, you're just going to line it up with the spline. See? Popped right in. Bam. Just like that. Okay, guys, so he's been struggling with this. <laughs> For a little, a little too long for comfort, and and yes, it's the plate's a problem. But this was, and he, like I said, CVs are in very easy. You saw how they just popped in and out. But future reference for you guys. So once the CVs are popped in, to make your life a little easier, and yeah, instead of doing this, put the tires on. That way, you can adjust the jack, bring it down, which will cause once the tires at the floor, obviously, to lift, to give you more adjustment on that. Uh, that's the only thing I would change in this situation because you're you're working, you know, these at the at the sharpest angle, basically. So you don't have a lot of room to work with. So once CVs are in, throw the tires on, tighten them up, put them on, and then you can adjust, tighten those things up. It'll make life a lot easier for you. I'm going to get back to my cigar while he works. All right, boys. Well, after about, I'd say, 35 minutes, she's all done. He's now, uh, he just popped his cover off to blow all the, del the belt debris out of there. Uh, when you guys ride these, you know, after a good desert trip, you want to pop these off, blow all that debris out of there. Just because what happens, that stuff starts to like crystallize and harden up. It can really destroy the clutch. So, but now he did tire pressure. He did all everything, cleaned everything up. Looks all good. He got his windshield that is insanely foggy. I'd show you guys, but you can't really see it. Very foggy right now. So this will be the first trip with the windshield also. 
Dude, this thing's soaked. You got to get it under there. I know. Because this thing's going to get wet. But he's he's ready, guys. So tomorrow morning, he's going to load this thing up, and, well, we're gone. All right, boys. Just now the next day. We're finally ready. Nick just left. Can-Am is all good. Ready to go. And I'm all packed up. Ready to go. We've got a full load. Nice, big President's Day weekend. And, uh, well... Hopefully uh, we have a good drive out there. Let's go. I gotta end this vlog so I can start my desert vlog. Oh, look at this million dollar motorhome buried. Wow, look at this. Well, this is gonna be fun. Right. Oh yeah, he's stuck. Yeah, that thing is stuck. It ain't moving. Huh? All right guys, well, stay tuned for the next vlog. We're gonna see what happens with this thing. Yo, where are you going? He's, he doesn't want to admit it, but he's stuck. Yeah. He's like, no, I'm not stuck. But you can see the tires. He's stuck. Where? Across the street. Right across the street. Hey, yeah, grab a flag when you're there. No, I forgot yours. That's why. <laughs> it's not in the trailer, so I, I don't know what happened to it or if we forgot it. Duct tape it to the light. Yeah, I looked. Yeah, just, duct just grab another flag. We need spares, so get two. All right, guys, so stay tuned for the next vlog. I'm out. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Click subscribe. Peace.